So, if you are working in a company as an IT web developer, or you are hosting your own website. One fine day, you found out that when you try to access your website you see the following error. Now let's understand why this error appears. Mainly, if you have recently changed the database credentials in your cPanel. This could be the main cause. The fix to this issue is very simple. Access your website hosted files. There are two ways to access them, access through cPanel Files Manager or FTP. In this case, we will FTP to the hosted files. I will use FileZilla, as it's one of the reliable app for FTP or SFTP. Once you are connected to your web hosted server using via FTP, you might see multiple websites hosted under that account. Choose the correct website to fix the problem. As in our case, it's erican.edu.my as you guys can see the error in the browser. Open the same folder under FTP. Open triple W root folder. Over here locate the file, which is named wp-config.php. Select the file and transfer it to your computer or laptop. Once you have transferred it to your laptop, locate the file and edit it. You can open the file in a text editor or any PHP compatible editor. Over here, make sure the following few pieces of information are correct. And if you have changed any info recently, correct it here. I have changed the database password recently, so I will correct it. But, for your case make sure to check the DB name, DB user, DB password, DB host, and check this information carefully. Once you identified it, correct it. In my case, the password, which I just updated. Once you have made all the changes, save the changes on the file. Close the file, and now let's go back to the FileZilla. Make sure to refresh the folder, so you have the updated file, and transfer the file to the same location on your server. It will prompt to overwrite. Click OK to overwrite the old file. Once done, now let's switch back to the browser. If you have made all the correct changes refresh the page, and the error should be gone. Finally, the website is back to normal and accessible. If the error still persists, then you may check the wp-config.php file again, and make sure all the credentials are correct. I hope this video helped you guys to solve the issue. If so then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, as we upload two videos a week on Monday and Friday evening. Do show your love and support in the comment section below, if this video helps you. That's all for now, I am your host Star, catch you in the next one, peace.